Okay, now that we have a basic Bryce Island, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to import uh, a two-dimensional picture. Uh, it's going to look like it belongs in the scene. It's going to uh, be th have a three-dimensional look to it. Um, and so let me show you that technique and that will be how we're going to complete the Bryce Island. Uh, first step is to go find a picture. So I'm going to go into Google Chrome. Get to google.com and go look for a beach ball. Image search. Uh, this one's would be a good one. Maybe this one. This one. I'm trying to choose one that doesn't have a lot of white in it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. Right click, open a new tab, and that's going to get me to the largest virgin version of it, so that it is. Um, high res when I bring it in to Bryce. So uh, right click, copy image, um, and then what I want to do is open up Photoshop. If I go to create new, it's going to automatically create the exact size file that I need. So all I need to do is hit create, control V, and it's going to paste the image on the file for me. I'm going to select the beach ball by holding down Alt and Shift and clicking and dragging with the elliptical marquee out from the center of the beach ball. And I just need to make it approximately the right size and then I can use the arrow keys to line it up a little bit better. It's okay if I end up chopping off a little bit of the edge. Control J and then I'm going to delete the original image so that I have a beach ball with a transparent background. Um, I have a white background that I'm now going to turn into a black background. And this is the first file I need to save in order to import this beach ball into Bryce. I actually need two files. So this is the first of two. file save as and I've already done this once but uh, I'm gonna do it again to show you desktop I'm gonna temporarily save it to my desktop you should save it to your H drive uh, I'm gonna call it BB1 and I'm gonna save it as a JPEG file You can see I've already saved it to my desktop. I'm just going to save it again so you can see. And then click OK. And then I'm going to use the magic wand. Make sure I'm on the beach ball layer. Click on the outside edge of the beach ball. And go to select inverse. So now I have the beach ball selected. I'm going to go to edit fill and fill the beach ball with white so I have to choose white under contents and it will automatically fill it and now I need to save this and I'm gonna call this BB2 and I'm gonna make sure it's a JPEG and now I have the two files I need so I can go ahead and close Photoshop and 
in Bryce. I'm going to hit escape. Go to the create menu. Click on this golden guy here. That's the 2D picture object. Um, and as you can see, it's already loaded. So I went to load and I found BB1. And then I went to load again. And then I chose BB2. BB1 plus BB2 gets me a, a beach ball with a transparent background. I'm going to check it and then go to the edit menu so that I can move up my beach ball into the sky so we can see it better. And you can see it's coming in at an angle. So what I need to do is go to the Y axis and rotate it so that it's facing directly towards us. And then I'm gonna go to view from top and I can see it's on the beach. I need to move it with the Z and the X axis so that it's centered inside the volcano. So back and forth between Z and X and I'll be able to center it right into the hole that I made earlier. Go back to director's view and then all I'm gonna do is just make it huge so it's like plugging up the hole in the volcano. Maybe move it down a little bit so it's sitting down inside. Okay, and then I'll hit render, take a quick look at it. Okay, so that's pretty good. We've just made this very surrealist look looking image. Um, now I'm going to hold down control and tap D once and make a copy. And I'm going to shrink the copy, move it closer to us, and then I'm going to kind of just slightly bury it into the water here. Up in front, maybe shrink it some more. And control D. Move a copy of it. Put it way in back here. Maybe make it a little bit larger. Pull it up out of the water. Control D. Put one more over here. Nice small one. Kind of move it so that it's maybe sitting on the sand. And then I'll go ahead and hit render. Three or four beach balls floating around will be good. Move that up out of the water. Beach balls are very buoyant, so they're not going to sink very deep into the water. They'll sit on the surface. Uh, I definitely don't want it to look like it's floating above the water but definitely not sunk too deep in the water either. Okay, so that's pretty good. And that's gonna be our finished island. Go ahead and save this, just like you saved it before, file, save as and you're going to save it to your Bryce folder in your H drive um, so my H drive has my name on it um, your H drive has your student ID number make sure you save it to your H drive you should have a Bryce folder um, and you're going to save it as a Bryce 7 file and so you go ahead and save it and 
so you're replacing the old one. And then to save this for me, um, you're going to save it in the student use folder as a JPEG file. So in order to do that, you go to File, Save Image As, and you're going to go to Student Use, Computer Graphics, Second Period, Digital Art 2, Bryce Island. last name actually I did that wrong <laughs> okay don't go to save as go to save image as that way you can save it as a JPEG so now I can go to student use computer graphics second period digital art 2 or digital art 3 they both have a Bryce Island folder and you're gonna rename it last name underscore first name and then hit save make sure you're saving the fully rendered version and then of course you might want to go to that folder and then just double check to make sure it's in there and saved properly there it is okay so save a JPEG for me save a Bryce file for you